what did I want to do after the Take That reunion? Was come back with a massive album, with, with a massive solo album that's going to be uh, successful and big. I took a busman's holiday, if you like, and took a, a break from my career, which re-energised me in many, many ways. My brother-in-law, who's in a rap combo called The Connects, his music got like, 40% better overnight, and I said, what's going on? And he said, well, we met these guys in a bar, these Australian guys, and they produce and write songs. And I said, well, get them up to the house. And within eight days, we'd written the album. They breathed youth into the situation, and naivety and hope I found it to be a very fortuitous blend straight away. More so than anything I've ever done in the past, really. I needed to find a producer. So when I got a phone call, do you want to meet Robbie Williams? Um, I thought, fuck yeah. See, I think any artist who is going to have longevity needs to try stuff. That's the bit of Rob that I'm attracted to, is a fearlessness about being big, about connecting with people. And he was one of those artists that it's very hard to not be a fan of. He played the demos, which to me sounded great, from the beat just straight away. Fortunately for me, I rec make records. Unfortunately, I hate recording studios. And I know artists generally hate it. Garrett's got an amazing house up in Topanga that's out the way in an awesome studio filled with hundreds of guitars and hundreds of synthesizers. What's the point of going to these big places if you can go to a home that you enjoy being at, you know? So basically, we, we stayed out of recording studios and uh, did it at Garrett's house. For me, it, it had the same sort of emotional resonance that uh, a New Order track would. It became a song of empowerment for me. My career's gone a few weird places over the last few years. And I came for your money and I came for your girlfriend. And I'm taking both and I'm leaving. And while I do it, I'm going to do it with panache and I'm going to be a boy. And that's what that song's about.